fastest growing economy, and now India's government is rolling out a digital program that aims to put this country at the forefront of technological innovation. As part of that mission, Microsoft has launched a new initiative to encourage the next generation of tech pioneers. The CEO, Satya Nadella, is in Delhi at the moment, meeting with millennials and government ministers. Ravi Agarwal joins us now live from there. Uh, Ravi, you were at the meeting that he held earlier on today, and he had a clear message, didn't he, for the youngsters who were present Try and follow your dreams. Yeah, that's right, Nina. He was trying to encourage the 300-strong audience of mostly uh, young entrepreneurs, young developers, students even. And he was trying to tell them that uh, this is the time to dream big in India. He was also using his own example as someone who grew up in India um, and then left India um, to become this great success story in the United States, uh, where he is, of course, the uh, CEO of Microsoft. Um, and listen in to um, how he began his speech, though, because he was telling this audience that now is the time to be very excited about India. Listen in. To see the energy, the creativity of this place, uh, it's infectious, really. Uh, for me, um, you know, obviously I grew up here and I come back here often, but every time I come back, uh, I, I go back energized, and uh, it's phenomenal. So you heard there, infectious, energized, phenomenal. I mean, these are great adjectives to, uh, to describe India with. And the reason why Satya Nadella and indeed other uh, CEOs of many uh, big U.S. tech firms keep coming to India of late is that um, there is this sense of excitement and there's a sense that there are so many untapped internet users, potentially a billion more people who are not connected to the internet who, when they come online, would be people who could boost all of these global businesses. In, in many senses, it is the next frontier for all kinds of internet services globally. Ravi, you mentioned there the likes of Tim Cook, uh, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg arriving in India. It's going to be a huge potential market with the internet growing so fast. But also, um, Satya Nadella did something that we've seen Mark Zuckerberg do in the past. When Mark Zuckerberg has addressed an audience in Mandarin, he addressed the audience quoting a poem in Urdu. How did that go down? Well, so Satya Nadella, um, who, so he's from Hyderabad, um, aware, so I'm guessing Hindi isn't really his native language, and he recited uh, a, a small little poem in Urdu uh, from the poet Mirza Ghalib, and, and that was received uh, with rapturous applause uh, here in India uh, uh, today in New Delhi. Uh, you know, just nice that he made the effort to try and connect with uh, a largely Hindi-speaking audience here in Delhi. And, you know, you'll see that with a lot of tech CEOs around the world. When Mark Zuckerberg was in China, uh, he, he tried to speak in, 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 uh, in Mandarin a little bit, and uh, lots of leaders do that. And it's just another way of connecting uh, with your audience. But the key uh, point here to make as well, Nina, is that the world of the Internet has really moved beyond just English. Uh, now you could be a Hindi speaker or a Bengali speaker or a Tamil speaker, uh, and there's an app for you in your language. Uh, you can use um, uh, voice recognition softwares that can translate what you're saying in Hindi or Bengali uh, and get your results in Hindi and Bengali through voice recognition softwares on American-run uh, companies. So it really does open up uh, the world of the Internet in a way that it perhaps never did even five or six years ago, and that's why the likes of Google, Microsoft, Facebook, uh, Twitter and the likes are so excited about all of these growing markets, especially in Asia.